Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at resistors in parallel. When they're connected in parallel, let's say we go from point A to point B in a circuit, and this is of course just a portion of a circuit, then notice that the current has a choice. The current can either go through the 6 ohm resistor or it can come down here and go to the 3 ohm resistor. It has a choice. It has more than one path. And so when there's more than one path to go from A to B, then those components making those multiple paths are in parallel. Now, what is the equivalent or total resistance of resistors in parallel? Well, what we're going to do here is consider the case where there's only two of them. Later on, in the next video, we'll show a case where there's three of them in parallel. When there's two of them in parallel, to find the total resistance, we use the inverse proportionality. With other words, we say that 1 over the resistance total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So let's go ahead and use this example right here to find the total or equivalent resistance of this case. And then we'll find an equivalent equation, which is a little bit easier to use, more practical to use when there's two resistors. So we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and calculate the total resistance of this example right here. So in this case, that would be equal to 1 over R1, which is 6 ohms. So 1 over 6 ohms plus 1 over 3 ohms. And usually, I like to leave the ohm symbol off because it makes it a little bit cleaner, but I'll leave it in there now just as an example. But notice that we have two fractions that have different denominators, so we should find the common denominator. We can multiply this one by, for example, um, 2. Both. So if we multiply this by 2 and multiply this one by 2, then we have the same denominators we have over here. So 1 over r total is equal to 1 over 6 ohms, Oop, that should be an ohm symbol right here, and plus 2 over 6 ohms. Now we have on the right side two, two fractions that have the same denominator. We can add them now. So we have 1 over r total is equal to 3 over 6 ohms. Now we can go ahead and take the inverse of this. When we do that, we get r total over 1, or simply r total on the left side, and that then equals 6 ohms divided by 3. And of course, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so that means the total or equivalent resistance is equal to 2 ohms. Now notice that it's less than either one of the two resistors. We had a 6 ohm resistor, a 3 ohm resistor, and combined, the total equivalent is less than either one of them. The reason for that is because now what we have is we have two parallel paths. The current can either choose the top branch or the bottom branch, and therefore, since there's more path for the current to take, it lowers the overall resistance to the current flow, and more total current will flow if there's more than one path for the current to take. It's kind of like being on a freeway. If you have two lanes or three lanes or four lanes or five lanes, the more lanes you have, the more traffic can pass on that particular point on the freeway. So it's kind of the same principle. Now let's go ahead and find an equivalent equation to calculate the total or equivalent resistance. And here, just to mention that the equivalent or total resistance is equal to 2 ohms. In other words, these two resistors in parallel can be replaced by a single resistor of 2 ohms, and that single resistor of 2 ohms would act exactly the same as these two resistors in parallel. So if you have something like this in a circuit, you pull it out and you replace it by something like that, you get the exact same behavior in the circuit. Now let's take this equation right here and find the common denominator, which would end up being the product of these two. So we can write that 1 over r total is equal to 1, let's see, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by r2, so that's r2 divided by r1 times r2, plus, and I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom here by r1, so we get r1 times r1 times r2. So now we have two fractions that have the same denominator, so this can be written as 1 over r total is equal to r1 plus r2 in the numerator, is our reversed order here, divided by the common denominator of R1 times R2. And then if we take the inverse of both sides, we can then say that the total resistance, R total, is equal to the product over the sum, as we call it. It'll be R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the equivalent equation for finding the total equivalent resistance of two resistors in parallel. Now, this only works if you have two resistors in parallel. With three resistors, you probably want to go with this equation, just simply adding another 1 over R3 
at the back. But let's go ahead and see if we get the same result if we plug in the same values here for R1 and R2. So R1 is 6 ohms, R2 is 3 ohms, so that would be 6 ohms times 3 ohms in the numerator, divide by in the denominator, we would get 6 ohms plus 3 ohms. And so the units will work out again because in the numerator we get 18 ohms squared divided by the denominator 6 plus 3 which is 9 ohms notice one of the ohms cancels out and we end up with uh, 18 divided by 9 which is 2 ohms which is the same result that we got before so either equation will give you the exact same answer but this one is probably easier to use when you're using just two resistors in parallel you quickly do the product over the sum and you have the equivalent resistor or resistance and that's how it's done